Hello everyone, Josh here with Exus Games. Yes, I'm back. We're going to be doing some summons here on Awakened Chaos Era. The soft launch of the game um, came out a few hours ago. I already used all my coins, or I'm sorry, all my gems to buy 240 plus summons. I actually did a multi on accident. Um, I didn't get nothing really from it. So my pity currently is sitting at 10 out of 100 to guarantee getting a legendary unless we pull one early. Um, but anyways, back to the game soft launch. It came out today in a few different regions, but they released the APK publicly. So I'll give you a link for that in the description below as long as they keep that link active, everybody should be able to grab it. Um, so it's basically like a semi-global launch right now. I don't know. It's, it's very confusing. It doesn't make any sense to me and it probably ain't gonna make sense to you guys and, and gals out there either. But basically the game's not gonna get wiped no more. Um, I used all my currency that I spent in the betas. They gave us coupon codes for that for the people who were in the beta that spent. So I was able to do a bunch of summons. I'm not spending any more. Um, you guys want a quick little history on what happened in the last beta and this beta. Uh, I got into it pretty big with one of the main community reps. Because apparently they don't like heavy criticism on the way they run things. And the way that I speak in my own private discord or whatever. So if you guys know that story, you know. You know, if you know, you know. Otherwise, we're moving past that. So I don't know if I'm going to continue with this game or not. Because they've been doing a lot of shady things that I'm not very happy about. Especially with the fact that they increased the cost of summoning in this uh, release. Now it costs 150 per summon instead of 100. Don't like that. They nerfed your rewards in the index. You used to get 50 for a bond, uh, for um, for a full friendship or a bonding. Now you only get 20, so they nerfed those by 30. I know they did give you some gems for other things. They made some little tweaks here and there, but for the most part, I'm just did not like what they've done uh, in beta th beta four, and I'm not liking what they're doing so far with the release. It's just not been a good time if you really want to dive you know deep dive into some of the things um about the game if you really want to get a good idea if you know is this a game you want to invest into especially with money um right now i would say no they already had gear packs out there 30 bucks a pop with random rng just just things i want you guys and gals to really look into and you know really think hard before spending money because i don't want people to waste their money you know money is not easy to come by you got to work hard for your money you want to make sure if you're investing money in anything, you're getting the value out of it that you feel is, you know, you just, you, you're, you're worth, you know, right? If you spend 30 bucks, you get, you get $30 worth of that. You know, it's just that simple. You know, you don't want to go to a restaurant, spend $100 on a fancy meal, and the, the meal is terrible, right? So, anyways, we're going to be doing 240 summons here. See if we can pull anything. I'm not going to get excited for any pulls because I've noticed a lot of characters were nerfed and buffed, depending um since the last beta so a unit that i might not like might be good now and vice versa so we're gonna have to see what happens but we're gonna go ahead and try and do some multi see if we get some legendaries and um why we're summoning guys i know a lot of you have been wondering where i've been i almost died and that is not a joke that is not too funny me and my girlfriend both almost died and the reason why we almost died is because we got the delta variant of the uh of covid19 and we also got pneumonia from it as well so we both got put in the hospital um i don't know how we got it uh, the missus works at school you know she's a teacher there so you know it could have been from a whole bunch of different people that we could have got it from unfortunately just the way the way it is um but anyways we were in the hospital for quite a while uh, she was in there a little bit longer than me because she was actually really doing bad for parts uh of her stay there she was doing really really bad um so it was it was a pretty scary time pretty scary time uh and some of the people that i did speak with i thank you so much for reaching out and wondering where i was how i'm doing I thank you all so much i appreciate that greatly that means a lot to me um i know we probably lost a lot of people on the channel because i was gone for quite a while you know you know about a month i was out of commission um didn't couldn't work he couldn't work so we were out of work for a while um because we were in the hospital we were bedridden we had a lot of problems with breathing obviously um, we had to clear up the infections in our lungs. Just, it was, it was a mess. Um, the pneumonia was really what did me in. Cause I'm very stubborn. You know, I don't want to go to, oh, we got a board in there as well. I don't want to go to hospitals at all. Like I just hate hospitals. I just, I, when I'm in a hospital, I just feel like, man, it just feels like death in here. Right. It just, it's just not a fun place to be. And we pulled a legendary, which is crazy. We got a corrupt Orac. What? If they didn't nerf him, that's an amazing pull. If they did not nerf him, like that's my end game tank right there, man. Hopefully they didn't nerf him. That is crazy. The entire 
the entire beta test three or not sorry not three the entire beta test four i could not pull a light and dark legendary to save my life until like the very last couple days it was just a dark nicholas um but wow i cannot believe we just pulled a dark Korak. that is crazy but anyways back to the storm we're gonna see if they nerfed him or if they buffed him or whatever they did you know hopefully they didn't change him in a bad way we'll look at that here at the end of the video but um yeah back to the story so yeah, the infection from the pneumonia is what really did us in. Um, so we were in the hospital for for a couple weeks, and then we also had to, you know, take a lot of medication, steroids, stuff like that, to help with our breathing, get rid of the infection. We did do a treatment, all that good stuff that you just don't want to do. It's just more stress in your day, right? So we went through that for about a month, and then we started to eventually start getting better. And now I'm able to actually talk to you guys here on the video be able to actually you know not cough my head off every 10 seconds we just pulled another legendary what is going on here one percent rates uh maybe it's it feels back so i was i was sick maybe that's why maybe it's some pity pulls i don't know but we pulled a sierra hopefully she's a lot better than she was before because she was like by far the worst legendary in the game um we pulled an asperina which i unfortunately did check her skills she was changed again slightly especially her trait um but that's that's a bit of a shame uh, but we're gonna see if Sierra is a little bit better than she was before. Um, let's see here. What can we get? But yeah, guys, I, I appreciate y'all that came out and gave me uh, best wishes and stuff like that for me and the misses. I do appreciate that a lot. Ooh, we got shafted on that one. So the next one should be at least an epic. I'm pretty sure they still are doing the same thing where at least every 20, every two multis, you're guaranteed at least one epic or higher. Yeah, it seems like it's still doing that, which is good. We got a Marion Shadow Blood. So we pulled uh, a unit that I was very high on on paper last time, but then we started building her up and realized she just wasn't as good as she was that originally and that I originally thought um, on paper because the way the team she has to be in, she just didn't really fit the team, the bleed team. So I don't know if they improved her or not. Hopefully they did because she's got a crazy cool uh, design. She's still by far probably one of the coolest looking characters in the game design wise and we also pulled the new gajar or gajar how you say his name he's a he's a new unit that they added here at release so that's another unit to check out and this guy rogue or, or rog have you say his name the elite he has got a pretty cool skill set like, he looks really good especially if you have a william oh my goodness um so we'll have to see what some of these new units can do what these new changes mean for some of these characters stuff like that but that's if you guys want to see me play this game obviously like I said, I'm not on good terms with the community reps, but outside of that, you know, I'm willing to stick with the game a little bit if you guys want. I tried to go out of my way to apologize and get an apology and sort these things out, but it didn't just did not end well in our private discussions, so it is what it is. Alright, so we got 150 pulls still left. It just sucks because I should have I should have closer to like 300 pulls, but uh, the price going up 50% for the pull is just really, really sucked. Alright, let's keep going here. But yeah, guys, let me know if you guys got, uh, if any of you guys got COVID in the past couple years. Let me know in the comment section below, because I'm sure a lot of you probably are familiar with what I went through and what my missus went through, and we can relate. Um, let me know how you guys are doing if you're going through it right now or if you know anybody who went through it because it's it's not fun It's really not. Um, I don't think the COVID itself was actually that bad and we pulled a celestial cane by the way Which is really really cool. I guess as long as it's not bad <laughs> Like I said a lot of these units were buffed and nerfed so we can't get excited too much about anything right now But it is cool to pull some light and dark units. That's always nice The next one should be at least an elite or better or uh, an epic or better. Hopefully I didn't say that before in a video. I probably did. I'm just blabbering. You know, I gotta get back into the rhythm of making videos. I've been out of it for a while, guys. It's been a rough time. But yeah, let me know if you guys uh, have experienced that in the comment section below or know anybody who has. And you've, you know, you've seen it firsthand. And how you, and how you got through it. And if you got the pneumonia as well. That's what really did me in. Like I said, the COVID wasn't that bad. It was just, you know, a flu. No, no big deal. Um, but the pneumonia. When I got that. Whoo! That was just hell on earth. That was hell on earth. 100 pulls left, guys. We're trying to get through it here. 
almost done. Be another legendary? Yes, it is. Let's go. Avera. Okay, so we got Borden's wife. Another Marion Shadowblood. I hope they made her good now. <laughs> Especially that we pulled her twice. And we pulled the regular Marion, which is good in certain uh, boss stages because of her life still. As long as that was not changed. Um, Connor, super good unit as long as they didn't change him. I do think they nerfed his attack a bit, I believe, when I checked. I'm not sure if they nerfed his ultimate because that's really, if they nerfed his ultimate, then he's just garbage. That's what made him great was that ultimate. Uh, his skill 2 is amazing, but that ultimate made or broke that guy. Um, Avera, I didn't get to test her out because I could not pull her for the life of me in the last beta because she kind of came in at the second half of the beta. Only had like a couple weeks left, didn't have the resources, and I just could not pull her. So I don't know if they changed her or anything. I think somebody mentioned that they did change her and they made her just a full rage unit. So that might be a bit of a downer. We'll see. She still has a cool design though. But we got 90 pulls left. Keep going. I think the game froze. That's awesome. Okay, we're still good. I was like, oh, I was like, oh man, please don't make me have to re, you know, like cut this out and stuff like that and, re and edit this. That would suck. And if I lost the footage, I'd really be bad because obviously that's the worst time to lose footage is on a summoning video because you can't redo it. <laughs> Your summons are gone forever. Okay, what do we get for our, uh, we got a Jonathan. This is, uh, I believe that's a new unit. I don't recall seeing because some of these characters are renamed as well. Like some of these characters um, have, a, have a different name than they did before. Like Mary. Mary was actually the Light Paladin. And they even changed her uh, her grade. She used to be, I believe, a common or an uncommon. And now she is a um, elite. And she's actually really, really good. And speaking of Mary, she's right here. So this unit is solid. I looked at her. They completely revamped her entire skill set as well. Uh, her skill... Two, skill three and her uh, trait is amazing he could be possibly one of the better tanks in the game depending on what other changes they've made but wow i was very impressed with her change they changed her name they changed her grade and they changed her skin she just got a full revamp and she needed it but they went overboard with her and i don't mind it because she looks she's a pretty cool looking character all right so that was a magnar pull we now own 20 epic heroes. We did pull a couple uh, legendaries. Again, I'm not getting too, too excited right now because with so many changes, I don't know who's good and who's bad. And so I look through everything. And we pulled, I think, a couple of him now. Two or three, plus we get the one from Story. We pulled a back-to-back -back cane and another Celestial cane as well. That's our second one. Wow, so we pulled uh, quite a bit of canes here. Cane showcase summoning anyway and uh what's also very impressive is we've pulled quite a bit of light and dark heroes all right let's keep going we got 30 left again if you guys want to see me cover more awaken yes era it's going to really all depend on you guys by going down and hitting that like button i know you guys can't see dislike and light uh, i don't even know if you can see likes anymore i think you still see the likes you can't see the dislikes i don't know why youtube keeps wanting to censor everything I know why they did it. I think it was because of the news coverage and stuff like that. Those videos were getting like dislike bombed a lot. A lot of one, a lot of them were probably deservedly so. But obviously, YouTube doesn't want to go. You know, doesn't want a political image to look bad. So obviously, they're gonna try and do anything they can to help the media outlets out because that's where advertisers are really coming from. They want to keep their advertisers obviously happy on YouTube because that's how YouTube makes their money. That's how we make our money as YouTubers as well. Uh, we got a Lightwing Zachary. There we go. Hopefully he's better than he was before. Matter of fact, I want to check this right now. Please tell me he's not as bad as he was before. Enemy attacks on this character have a 50% chance to grant a bonus turn. Okay, that's much better than it was before because I believe before it was like... Uh, well, no. No, actually, I think his other one was decent as well. Or maybe it might have been the same, actually. Try to think what part, what skill it was that was really... I think it was his ultimate, because I think his ultimate doesn't let you crit before. Let's see if it's still like that, because that was terrible. Oh, no. Deal. So it deals low percentage attack for an ultimate single target. It ignores the enemy's defense, which is, you know, it's okay, but 
the attack percentage is so low and you cannot crit. So he's still bad. And it's a five turn cooldown. I know if you get a kill, you can fully heal, blah, blah, blah. But for a single tar target uh, attack with, you know, high damage and stuff like that, you want it to be for like boss stages or stages that have a hard to beat enemy. Or even if you have to like try and take out a tank or something like that in PvP. You want your single target attacks to be very, very powerful. The fact that this has a low modifier, and he only has an A attack, not even an S attack. So his attack's not going to be super, super high. And the fact it cannot crit is so bad because now you're losing all that crit damage. So, yes, he ignores defense, but the damage does not make up for it. Ignoring the defense does not make up for the lack in damage because of the low, modif lo low modifier, the fact he's only got an A attack, and he can't crit. That's just, that to me is just terrible. Now, I do like that he, he has a 50% chance of bonus attack when he gets attacked. But, but that's cool. You could possibly run him in a, a counterattack team just because that's a decent trait for that, perhaps. Um, he does get an attack up and do the 80%. If you're running with William, that 80 becomes 160. Uh, yeah, 160. So that's actually not bad. In a, he's not bad in a William team. Counterattack team. There's so many options for the counterattack team now. It's crazy, including, including a new elite that we briefly mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, his ultimate, oof. Ooh, that's garbage. That's, that's terrible. I don't like it. <laughs> Get that out of here. That's weak sauce. Um, so yeah, we put a lot of light and darks though in today's video. Very crazy. Very crazy. We're up to 12% too. So we're going to be hitting pity soon as well, which is nice. Um, so we'll be getting in, we'll be pulling into another legendary here uh, whenever we get the chance. But right now, if we look at our box, and again, uh, I used some of my, my tokens from the beta and I bought some stuff, including getting a guaranteed legendary. And we also did our rookie summons, which I got a legendary from that as well. I got the Hydricity from that. And I got the Tia from the guaranteed legendary pack with my tokens from my beta. So I got Tia, I got Hydricia. We got Blackhorn from the battle pass, obviously. We got Sierra from the pools just now. We also got our Ivera. Ready for uh, we pulled two Celestial Canes, which is crazy. We pulled two Mirian Shadow Bloods. Um, we pulled a few other. Uh, oh, we also pulled, of course, the Lightwing Zachary. And that's pretty much it for like the Light and Dark pulls and the highlights here. Like I said, Mary's going to be something really I'm going to look into perhaps if we continue to play. I'm going to see if they made any changes to Thomas. As I already checked, she got nerfed a, a bit, in my opinion, from where she was. And she already felt a bit nerfed already because she's been changed like multiple times throughout the betas. Uh, unfortunately, I think Zachary even got a slight nerf, I heard. I have to check to see what his stats are and what, what they did with him. Um, Hugh, hopefully they didn't change him because I wasn't even paying attention. I pulled Hugh on my free summon from the daily. And I was like, oh, sweet. I'm going to build him up because he's already going straight to the PvP team. And then I didn't even realize, wait, maybe they changed him. And then it was like, already two legs. He's already five stars. So I'm like, please tell me they didn't change him. So his speed's an S, which is good. Um, I think for the most part... He's still what I need him to be. Because really, it's his skill, too, that I go for. It's pretty much his skill, too. And he still does what he does. You know, speed down, AoE, 75% chance. That's all I cared about. So, that's good. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I feel like uh, I feel a coughing fit coming on, so I don't want to keep talking and cough repeatedly. I have to edit that out. So, I do appreciate you all so much um, for the time all the way. For you for a lot a lot of you that were reaching out hopefully you guys appreciated the summons sorry i didn't get too too excited or hyped up for the summons because i said i got to check to see which units are good or bad but that's going to be it for this video if you guys want to see more again go out there hit that like button i think you guys can still see likes sorry about you haters out there <laughs> you got you got censored i'm sorry um you guys can let me know what you guys uh think about this game and if you're playing it or if you just want to send uh best wishes um, I'll try to reply to you guys out there in the comment section. Um, if any of you guys are going through with it, uh, through, through this, you know, as well, or, th you know, know what someone who did and it affected you in some way, or you just want to talk about it, I'll give you my best wishes as well in the comment section. So we can all just kind of get through this together. Some tough times here. Uh, yeah. See you guys in the next one. As always.